Well, we've definitely found our form at Banbridge Town being undefeated in the last nine games that we've played. Hopefully, today we can take some of that confidence into these cup games and secure ourselves a spot in the next round. What's happening guys? Hello and welcome to episode 5 of Unknown to Icon. I'm Raz Mataz and we are still managing Banbridge Town. Our form has definitely been on the up, which has been nice to see. Um, but today we are playing a cup game against Knock Breda. Now in the, at the end of the last video, I'm pretty confident that I said their name was Knocker Bread. And it's definitely not, it's Knock Breda. So sorry to any Knock Breda fans out there. Um, I did butcher the name of your club. But these guys are actually in the league above us. So they play in the championship, although they are bottom of the table. So I'm hopeful with the fact that they're probably on a bit of a bad run of form and we're on a good run of form, we can knock them off and make our way through to the next round of the tournament. In terms of our schedule and stuff that we've got coming up, we are going to play Port Stewart as well in the Intermediate Cup third round. Um, Port Stewart are currently bottom of the table in our league as well. So both of the teams that we've got in the cup, not on the best run of form. So I'm very confident. Um, then... Following that, we've only got eight games left of the season. So it's going to go one of two ways, I think. If we don't manage to win in the cup games, it could knock our confidence and ruin our season, to be honest. But if we manage to make it through by beating both of these two, or, you know, at least give ourselves a, you know, a decent showing, hopefully we can keep up that confidence for the remaining season. A couple of our games that we've got to play are against teams that are lower than us in the league. Bally McCash Rangers are below us. Port Stewart are obviously at the bottom of the table. The police aren't doing so hot anymore either. And then we do play Tobermore United for the last game of the season. Tobermore United, obviously, we've drawn against them once and we've lost against them once. So surely it's got to be our chance to beat them in the last game of the season. But we're currently sat in seventh, so we're looking much better in comparison to where we were. Um, but, you know, there's still a bit of work to go. I would like to see if we can get up the table a bit. I don't think we're in contention to be in a, you know, a promotion spot in any sense of the word. But... You know, we, we, we should be able to get ourselves up a little bit and perhaps finish, you know, fourth, fifth, sixth, maybe, you know, maybe even third, but very doubtful at the moment. Either way, today, full focus is on the cup game against Knockbreader. So let's get into it and have a look at the team. So this is the squad for today then. Pretty much the exact same lineup that we've been going with recently. There is only one change I think I am going to make. Could prove to be controversial and not be going our favour, but... We're going to play Joshua Hannon instead of Lewis Hunter. I just don't trust that three aerial reach still. And Joshua Hannon's been better. You know, Lewis Hunter currently is on a 6.61 average rating. And Joshua Hannon's on a 6.9 average rating. Only four appearances in comparison to Lewis Hunter's 16. But Josh Hannon's been playing better, so we're going to chuck him in there. So Josh Hannon starts in goal. Willis at left back. Owen and Fielding at centre back. Brown at right back. And then we've got uh, OG Gallagher and Newboy Jenkins coming in through central midfield. Connor Downey from the left mid, uh, left wing, sorry. Davis from right wing, and then new boy Pedro up top with Stephen McCavitt. Obviously, our bench today looking pretty strong. You know, we've got Jack Evans to come in as our striker. Dixon can obviously, he's, we've been playing him as a right winger, but he can also play in central midfield, which is good. Uh, Chris Cohen is our central midfield option. Gavin Con there to play at left back, but can also play in midfield. So a couple of options through the centre there. Um, Joe Cooney, new boy also coming in at right back. And then Dylan Snodden at centre-back option and Lewis Hunter if we should need to replace a goalie. But I can't see that being a, a thing. Now, let's get into the game. Here we go then. Irish Cup first round. Hopefully, these boys can do a job on Knock Breda. That would be really, really good. Their form is not great. They did win their last game, but lost, draw, draw, lost, win. So nothing special out of them. And I don't know any of their players, obviously. But let's go. Hopefully, this will be a nice win for us. So obviously, check, check the speeds there. We were going way too fast last time. OG Gallagher has suffered from a pulled groin. That's not what you want to see. 15 minutes into a big cup game, is it? I wonder whether he's suffering loads or whether he wants to carry on. Filled in, heads the ball out to Davies. Pulls it back into OG Gallagher. You can never tell, I suppose, in the match engine, but... You know, that probably wasn't one of his best best moments. He looked a bit ropey when he took the ball. Owen drops the head again over to Brown. Fielding, hoofs the ball forward. Good effort, but not quite able to pick up the ball there, Stephen McCavitt. 
One of their players has picked up a knock as well. Kane, by the look of it. Hopefully he's not as good as Harry Kane. Oof, that was wild. Straight off the post. Oh, lads. We're nervous there. We are nervous there. Let's calm it down. OG Gallagher should be able to play through it. That's that's good to know. That is good to know. I'm going to ignore that for now, but I will keep an eye on him down the bottom here and just see how he goes. Not the greatest performance so far from Willis. The fullbacks in this are just, you know, I've really struggled with fullbacks. They just do not seem to perform. That's why I've always got a fullback for each side on the bench because I just don't trust my fullbacks in any way, shape or form. Big ball forward up towards McCavitt. That's not the player we should be aiming for. We should be aiming for DJ Pedro. He's playing target forward. Ball across into the middle. Gilmore does have a shot, but Hannon's got safe hands there. Sealer already proving to be an excellent decision to keep Hannon in goal. They have had the better of us in terms of XG, though, and also in terms of stats. Possession, we're actually in favour, which is nice to see, but unexpected, playing the, the tactic that we are. Five shots, two on target in comparison to their six and three. I do wonder if we should be on a cautious mentality here, but we're at home and we've been doing well so far. Other cup games and stuff we're not too interested in at the moment, obviously being the first round. But I would like to see, maybe I should drop us back to a cautious mentality. We just want to be careful here. And all of a sudden our shots have gone up. That's looking good. Corner for not Breda. Ball in. That's DJ Pedro. I think with a big header out of the way. Here's a shot coming. Off the crossbar. Oh no, it's fallen to their player. That is shocking defending from us. Not what we wanted to see here at all. We could have really done without conceding there. That was just unfortunate. That really was just unfortunate. Owens, again, is just knackered. Hannon doesn't actually make the save. I thought he made the save the first time, but it comes off the crossbar and falls straight back to Burns, who slots it home. We are going to make a couple of changes here. We do uh, We do need to switch something up. Elliot Owen, I feel like, although you're performing out of your skin, pal, you're just tired again. Your fitness is a real concern, especially considering that you're an 18-year-old young lad. You're knackered by the end of every game. Well, not even the end. 6.2 for Jake Willis is just not good enough. So we are going to bring on Gavin Khan. He is going to play for us as a fullback on defend. Who else am I seeing there with terrible performances? Not so great from the two boys there either. But Curtis Davis is having an absolute shocker. And so is DJ Pedro. No good. Right. How does McCavitt play as a target forward? Not so great. What about you, Jack Evans? You're coming on because Pedro's been crap. Two-star target forwards on attack. Why not give Evans a go there and see what happens? That's three subs. We've got two left to make. Do I want to bring Curtis Davis off is the question. I think so. Let's get James Dixon on. All right. In we go. Four subs. Big decision to make four subs right now, but we'll encourage the boys. Come on. Let's get it going. OG Gallagher, they reckon Cohen should be coming on for... He probably is tired and a little bit sore. Jenkins, not looking so great, but he's playing on attack. So we'll tell him to ease off the tackles and then we will bring Cohen on for OG Gallagher as well. He can play deep line playmaker, that's fine. Come on, lads. We're going to have to go for it here. Let's go for an attacking mentality and we'll demand a bit more. See if we can get something out in this last minute. It's not going to happen though. And there it is, 1-0. We do get knocked out. Now, I'm hoping that that isn't going to knock our confidence too much considering that they are the league above us. But they were considerably better than us. That is just extremely unfortunate the way it came back off of the crossbar and landed straight at their player. Burns, who scored the goal. Elliot Owen was, was our best performer, even though he had to come off because he is tired. Just not a great performance all round. Again, you know, McCavitt being a little bit inconsistent there. Just not much happening. Um, Jay, Willis has been terrible, to be honest. His form has been so poor. I have to bring him off near enough every game. So could be an argument for somebody else to start there instead of him. But Gavin Conn is just not anywhere near the player that Willis should be on paper, which is the only reason I've not swapped him around. And poor, poor performance from DJ Pedro, who has been all right since signing for us. So... On to the next game we go and hopefully we can get some of that confidence back. All right, just before the next game against Port Stewart in the Intermediate Cup, we have officially got our first coaching qualification. So we have just achieved National C license, which is good to know. Um, something else that's just happened in the, in the between as well. Lewis Hunter had a bit of a whinge about his playing time, so I've decided to give him 
the game at least today in the next couple. So I have promised him that I'll play him. So Joshua Hannan goes back onto the bench and Lewis Hunter comes back into the squad. But also, Michael McCavitt had a bit of a whinge. Um, he did. He had a bit of a whinge. So he basically said that he wasn't getting played enough where we don't play with a cam anymore in our current situation in both of the current formations that we use. He just doesn't work in our formation. Now, he was good to be sat on the bench. But where we've got Jenkins in now, Jenkins, OG Gallagher, and then Chris Cohen on the bench, we don't really need Michael McCavitt. So he was going to mess up. He was part of the core group and he was going to mess up our hierarchy. So I have released him on a free. So he is unfortunately moved on because things are looking good apart from that at the club. So we want to keep it that way to maintain our, uh, our good dressing room atmosphere. Anyway, on to the match. So lineup for today is Hunter is going back in goal. Obviously, after he had his, his little whinge, he's had a whinge and he's back in goal. So he's in goal. Gavin Conley's going to start for us at left back. We've got Owen and Field in at centre back. Brown at right back. OG Gallagher and Jenkins through the central midfield. Uh, Davis as left winger today. Dixon as right winger. Pedro and McCavitt up front. Here we go. So... We're obviously on a decent run of form. I know we lost the last game, but nowhere near as bad as the form of Port Stewart, who oh, I didn't realise it was this bad. They've lost their last five games. They've lost every single one. We are definitely going out here to win today. We're going to attack from the off is the idea. We're on a positive mentality. I feel like we've got this one in the bag. Five losses in a row for them. We've only lost one in our last five games. That looked like a ball to me. Literally stuck his arm up and stopped it. Surely. I mean, it obviously wasn't. Otherwise, they'd have given it. They'd give everything against us. So, we'll see. OG Gallagher, bossing it in the midfield. Lovely ball through from Gavin Conn. McCavitt can't quite get there. OG Gallagher back to Dixon. Fielding, hoofs the ball up towards Davis. Knocks it through. McCavitt's there! It's 1-0! Don't you just love to see it? Bambridge Town 1 0, that ball. Dixon back to fielding, big ball forward. Davis just nods it onto the power for Stephen McCavitt and he slots it on the right hand side near post of the goalkeeper. Beautiful stuff. What a way to start a game. Eight minutes in, 1 0 up. Gavin Conn passes the ball out to Jen from throws the ball to Jenkins, over to OG Gallagher, into McCavitt again, not there. Oh, he is though. Is he going? He's going to be offside. Okay. All right, let's not get too excited. So far, we have absolutely dominated it. Eight shots, two on target. Ball across. Jenkins is there. Lovely goal from Tom Jenkins, assisted by Sean Brown. I tell you, that, like I say, that not bread game. That was a blip. That was a blip. We are powerful at the minute. Powerful. Jenkins, great header there. Keepers had an absolute shocker there. But we are definitely, definitely the team in form at the league at the moment. We've completely nullified them. Not a shot on target. 45% possession. They've made one foul and no shots. None on target. Unbelievable. 12 for three. I'd love for us to get more of our shots on target. You know, other teams dread to think what we could achieve if we actually got, you know, eight or nine of those 12 on target. Pull back to what, who I'm sure handballed earlier. Jenkins has a crack from miles out. No joy. Madison makes a save and it goes out for a corner for Bambridge Town. OG Gallagher to whip the ball in. It's gone near post to Dixon, but it hasn't quite worked. Stevenson for them is on the break now. Nice haircut that fella's got. Big old mohawk. Nobody anywhere near that. And Hunter scoops up the ball nicely, taking his time a bit, passes it out to Gavin Conn. Gavin Conn having a half decent game. Could be a full-time replacement here for Willis. Played much better. Willis just seems to be poor every game that I play him. Every single game. Dixon, ball in. Fielding was running onto it, but no joy. OG Gallagher's had a crack for miles out. And it's on target again as well. Keeper makes the save and pushes it out for a corner. They've had one shot this entire time. Ball in then. OG Gallagher. Nothing. Owen scooped it up, but didn't scoop it up. Interesting. Shatayo passes it back to Watt. He's their captain. I'm sure he handballed it earlier. I'm never going to let that go. We will work the ball into the box. We do want to see more of these 16 shots come on target. Pedro, lovely as the target forward. Scoops up the ball as a crack from quite a way out, though, on the edge of the box. No joy. Probably we would pass that into the middle, really, being a target forward. All right. 
we are absolutely dominating. Absolutely dominating. Let's crack on with the second half. I'm very, very much enjoying watching this performance from the lads. And there's nobody out there at the moment that's having a poor game. Dixon, if anybody, but he's on a 6.7. Pretty good. Jenkins manages to get the ball back. Whoa, did that come off the crossbar? No, it must have not hit anything. That looked like it came off the woodwork. I was going to say, that was one hell of a crack. We're looking all right. Some of the boys are starting to fade a little bit, but nothing major. Dixon, I would say, is worrying me, but he's not doing too badly. Just at 6.7. Sean Brown hoofs it forward. Their lad picks it up, puts the ball straight back into the area. Ah, oh, Hunter's made a save, but can't keep his hands on it. And this pops straight out to Mawini, who's knocked it in for them. That second ball from the goalkeeper, I found, especially with these, these lower league saves, this one, they never manage to keep their hands on it. It always falls to one of their players. How are three of our players there? And it's gone directly to their player. Right. Come on, lads. We need to sort this out. Let's... Uh, Let's not scream at them yet, actually. We're not doing too badly. We are definitely outperforming this team. They've just got fortunate there. McCabot heads it back on to Jenkins, passes it back to Owen. Fielding, pops the ball forward. Not quite able to find Pedro. And McCabot can't secure it with the header either. Bradley knocks the ball forward. Mar when he's in again. Oh, what have we done here, lads? What have we done? Who's this Mar when he fella? And what has happened to us? Our, our opposition instructions are still exactly the same. All looking good. That, from Owen, is shocking. How are you not covering your man and Hunter in goal? God, this boy's giving me absolute nightmares. We've thrown this away. We have thrown this away. Their lad, by the way, has just scored two goals and for some reason apparently is showing up as a 6.4. Right, let's make some substitutions and sort ourselves out because that is horrendous. We're not even playing badly. That's what I don't understand. Who's tired? Owen, obviously. Right, Cooney comes in to replace Owen as a central defender. Anybody else that needs or could do with a rest? Not really, no. We've still got the better side out there. James Dixon on a 6.6. .6. That could probably improve, but Ryan Gordy's probably not going to be the one to improve it, to be totally honest with you. He's played pretty poorly every time he's played for me. We need to really fire these lads up now. Demand more. That is not good enough. Is Are you joking me? How is that a penalty? We've been absolutely robbed here. Oh, Hunter's made the save. Oh, lovely stuff. Come on, lads. What are we doing here? We're throwing this one away. This is our game. Ball out to Dixon. We've been so dominant up until this point, and somehow we've managed to let them sneak two back. Dixon puts the ball into the middle. Pedro can't get there. Davis does, but it is over the bar. 74 minutes played. Their keeper hoofs the ball forward. Fielding manages to get his head on it. Lovely job. Pedro holds up the ball. Sean Brown. To Dixon. Back to Sean Brown. OG Gallagher. It's been made clear to me that his name isn't OG Gallagher. It just kind of means junior, but I'm never going to call him anything else. And there's the penalty for us. Lovely job. Right. Bit of injustice at the other end. Come on. We managed to save it. Let's put this one away. Stephen McCavick doesn't miss these, does he? Oh, he does. Oh, no. It's gone in. Oh, they've had a shambles at the back. It's an own goal by Joel Madison, their goalkeeper. How has that gone in? I can't believe there's been two penalties in this game and they've been saved. What an absolute cracker of a cup tie. Oh, really, it should be given. It shouldn't be Madison that scored the Aaron goal there. It should be Widowson. Right, let's have a look. Pedro's knackered. Connor Down needs to come on for him. Who else is tired? Of course, the other centre-back. We don't have another centre-back to bring on instead, unfortunately. And we've got one more sub to make. Do we want to make it for anybody right now? I don't think so. Let's just keep holding out. We've been by far the better side here. They've got a free kick though on the edge of the area. Law steps up. He's already missed the penalty. Hunter's made a save. Hunter's made a save from a free kick. The old Hunter, before he was whinging at me about his playing time, he would have let that one just sink straight into the top corner. Ball back in. Downey pops his head on it. Lovely. Gets it out of the box at least. Law. 
That's a big old shot. Hunter, I think, managed to get hands on it or it came off the crossbar. Falls back to one of the, uh, to George Cooney, sorry, who manages to pop it out. And the ballsman who's straight over the bar by their player. They have all of a sudden absolutely turned it on here. We're going to drop down to a cautious mentality and we're going to make a sub to just waste a little bit of time. We can't bring Niall Fielding off, unfortunately. So what we will do is bring Ryan Gawley on to replace Dixon. Let's just slow the game down. This is our time. They have definitely brought it back, though, in this second half. They have had a lot of opportunities here. Ball in. Oh, no. They've got it scored. <laughs> they've got it scored in the last minute of added time. Oh, no. We're going to go to extra time here. This has been a mental cup tie. Absolutely mental. Right. Don't let it slip away. We've been the better team. We have the whole time. I cannot believe we're even in this position, to be honest with you. We want to go back to at least a balanced mentality, if not a positive one. In fact, I think we go back to positive. That's where we played our best game. McFadden for them is up. Don't you dare give away another penalty, lads. Oh, no. My winning scored. What has happened here? We have completely capitulated. Oh my days, we have been so poor defensively towards the end. Scream at the lads, tell them what for. We need to score a goal here. We've got to go attacking. There's no other option. Gawley plays the ball over to McCavitt. He's only gone and scored. Lovely job. There we have it. It's 4-4. It is 4-4. And with us just scoring the goal, the momentum is in our favour. Come on, lads. 30 shots, 9 on target. We've definitely been the better side here. Let's not let this go to penalties. Although saying that, if it does go to penalties, what's going to happen? We've already had two penalties this game. Both been saved. Lovely job. Cooney's there, but oh, let's McFadden slip it by. Marwinnie's there again. What are we doing here? We are so poor defensively. That was absolutely horrendous. Let's scream at the lads. Get up there. What was that from Jenkins? We've got no more subs to make. I don't think we get enough. We do get another sub. Right, Chris Cohen, on you come. For Jenkins. Don't want to take OG Gallagher off. He created the last goal for us. Hunter with the ball now. Pops it forward towards McCavitt. Doesn't get there. OG Gallagher wins the header. Davies puts it across for Connor Downey. He's only got a score. <laughs> what a cup tie we are having. It's 5 all with 104 minutes played. 5 all. What a game you'd be witnessing. You've seen 10 goals in this cup tie. Unbelievable. Yeah, we want to continue with the tactic change. Oh, here we go. Second, extra time, second half. Come on, boys. Let's encourage them. Let's go, lads. Get it up, ya. This is going to go to penalties, isn't it? Might not. They might score here. We look, we look weak at the back every time. Hunter's picked up the ball. Come on, then, lads. On the break here, our highlight. Let's go. Hunter hoofs it forward. Not going to happen. Brown low picks up the ball, poops it back into the middle. Cohen's picked it up, though. Ball through to Connor Downey. Straight at the keeper. Oh, if only that was Stephen McCavitt. He'd have buried it. I know it. Come on, lads. Last minute winner here. That's it. All of added time has been played in extra time. Gawley's not going to get there. He's straight out. And that is going to penalties. <laughs> oh, dear. We're going to penalties in the third round of the Intermediate Cup after a 5-5 belter of a cup tie. Marwin, he knocks it forward. Hunter picks up the ball. Unless something comes from this situation here, that's got to be the game, surely. Connor Downey, that's it. All right. Well, now we just need to, to choose our penalty takers, don't we? Lewis Hunter is not going fourth. I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. Right. Team talk with the boys. We have the home advantage. Let's make it count. You see, all the lads are calm ahead of the shootout. 
He's calm again, uh, ahead of the shoot. Uh, that's all we need. Goalkeepers calm. Strikers are calm. Let's get it going. Right, nothing more for me to do here. Stephen McCavitt steps up. The nerves have set in massively. He's gone and buried it. Lovely job. Right. One for us. None for Port Stewart so far. Law steps up. He was the, one, the lad who Hunter saved his penalty earlier. Come on, Hunter. He's gone and saved it again. <laughs> oh, Lewis Hunter. I tell you what, fella. You telling me that you were fuming about not being started. I, I, I completely wholeheartedly agree with you. Connor Danny buries it as well. So that is two goals to Bambridge or two penalties scored for Bambridge. One missed so far for Port Stewart. Ma, when he's put it straight down the middle at Hunter as well. They are having an absolute shocker so far. Surely we can't throw it away from here. OG Gallagher, captain, steps up, puts it past their keeper. He went the right way, but OG Gallagher's put it in the bottom corner. What an unbelievable cup tie this has been. I mean, if Hunter saves this one, that's it, right? And then we just need to score one more. What does manage to score one there? Captain does manage to bury one away against us. But this could be it. If Cohen scores this, Chris Cohen, the guy who scored probably, I still think, the best goal that we've seen in this entire playthrough so far. He's got a one in for Banbridge Town. Lovely job. We're through to the next round. That couldn't have been any better of a cup tie. What a performance all round from the team. You know, Gavin Conn coming in and stepping up, getting a 6.7. Not the best of best of uh, you know ratings from him, but still decent. Cooney as well, 6.8. Not too bad after coming on. DJ Pedro with a 7. Jenkins with a 7, who have obviously been subbed off. Stephen McCavitt with an 8.7. A 10-goal thriller followed by a penalty shootout. That is unbelievable. This Marwini lad, he had a cracker of a game. He had an absolute cracker of a game. We will definitely be looking him up. What a cup tie. Unbelievable. I still cannot quite believe what I have just witnessed. That is the stuff that FM dreams are made of. 5-5 five, five at the end of extra time and we go through on penalties with Lewis Hunter absolutely solidifying his spot as our starting keeper with that penalty shootout. Save the penalty in the game and then save two out of their three attempts in the penalty shootout as well. When we return next time, we are going to be playing our game in the fourth round of the Intermediate Cup against Kilmore Rec. They are in the lower leagues, unplayable leagues of the game. So by rights, we should definitely beat them and secure ourselves a place in the quarterfinals. And then we've got a league game coming up against Moyola Park as well. If you enjoyed that video and the series so far, please do drop a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more FM23 content.